Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs and this tutorial for beginners is going to introduce you to one way you could very quickly make a, a window frame, something like this. Um, so I'm just going to put a new, new uh, instance of Blender. I don't know why it's being so slow. Yeah, whatever. And turn on my screencast keys because this is for beginners. Um, this is a really easy concept, but the idea of this is just to show you how you could use a certain modifier. Um, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm just going to do this one. Yeah, but you can use the same method for doing anyone. But this one's quite interesting because it's got the, the different sized window panes there. Um, the one I made for the introduction was something like this. But anyway, so all we're going to do, we can actually for this, we can just add a plane. Whoops. Um, press Shift and A mesh, and I'm going to add a plane. Stretch it on the Y, S, and then Y, um, something like that. Just make it a little bit more like that. Okay, pop into edit mode by pressing tab or going up here. And I need to let's have a quick look at the, that one. It's not quite down the middle. Okay, so I'm going to click these two edges, shift click, and I'm going to right click and subdivide. So now I've got that line down the middle. Now I can, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, slide this over slightly by pressing G twice slide it over to there. Now I also want to do the same thing with these two edges. Grab this one, GG, slide that up there. That's basically what's shown here, something like that. Mine's a little bit narrow, so S, X, something like that. That's it, right, easy. So you basically all you need to do is get all the lines in place for how you want your window pane to, or your window frame, sorry, to look, or where you want the individual panes to go. So. You know, if you were doing something like this, you need to have all of these lines represented by your mesh. And then you just go into object mode, go to modifiers, add a modifier, wireframe, and that's it. It's so easy. There you go. And then, so if I just zoom in on this a little bit, and zoom right in, you can see that it's kind of, uh, it's, a, it's a square. It's I don't know what the word is for that, but you can adjust the thickness over here, make it much thicker. And then so once you've got that, you could just apply this. Um, if you've got the latest version of Blender, that's Control and A, or there might be an Apply option up here, but I'll just press Control A. And then I can grab this edge, grab this edge, grab this edge, and grab this bottom edge, and then press F to add a face in there, and then I can make that my window. Or I can Alt-click here, on this edge and it will select all of these F or click F there you go You've got a, a basic window made and just add your different textures here and there so there you go if you found that useful please drop a like thanks very much